All is not well in the ruling German coalition. The government led by Olaf Scholz is now split right in the middle and the issues tearing the alliance apart are extremely serious. Despite being in an alliance with the Green Party and the Liberal FDP, Olaf Scholz's SDP has been pushing down the throats of the cabinet its own decisions while also carving a peculiar foreign policy path for Germany. And Germany's foreign minister Anna Baerbock from the Greens party doesn't seem happy about it. In fact, Olaf Scholz is in trouble and his coalition might just turn against him, leaving the German chancellor high and dry. Let's find out more. Olaf Scholz has been taking some unilateral decisions on important subjects of late and his cabinet is not impressed. In fact, Scholz's coalition partners are outraged. Foreign Minister Anna Baerbock is so dismayed by the way things have been going on that she chose to send a stern warning to Olaf Scholz from no less than Uzbekistan. While in Uzbekistan, the German foreign minister demanded a more assertive new China strategy. Her remarks came ahead of Chancellor Olaf Scholz's visit to Beijing this week. In scathing remarks, Baerbock said, The federal chancellor has decided the time of his trip. Now it is crucial to make clear in China the messages that we laid down together in the coalition agreement. She added, As is well known, we clearly stated in the coalition agreement that China is our partner on global issues that we cannot decouple in a globalized world, but that China is a competitor and increasingly a systemic rival. I made it clear that we as the federal government are writing a new China strategy. Olaf Scholz has irked his European partners after he outrightly refused to decouple from China. Back home, his hold over the Chancellor's office is getting weak and Scholz's overtly pro-China policies are to blame. He is now getting alienated within the coalition he stitched himself. Olaf Scholz's party pushed forward the go-ahead for a Chinese firm to become party to the Hamburg port despite women protests from members of the cabinet, including the entire foreign ministry. According to Reuters, the German foreign ministry was so upset over the approval that it drew up a note on the cabinet meeting documenting its rejection. So Anna Baerbock has visibly had enough of Olaf Scholz's pro-China shenanigans, which is why she is sending out warnings to her boss rather openly now. In fact, Olaf Scholz also plans to hand over a German company's microchips production facility to China. Despite Germany's intelligence agency's warning that such a move comes with a lot of risks and threats to German security. One flank of the German government views China as a systemic rival. The other refuses to decouple from China and in fact wants to boost ties with Beijing. Where do you see the German coalition led by Olaf Scholz going here on? Let us know in the comments.